popping up in gardens and driveways across Britain in the summertime. Dandelions are a gardener's nemesis, but they're not all bad. There's more to these pesky weeds than meets the eye. They've been used in cooking and medicine for centuries. I'm in London to meet a Michelin-starred chef, Ollie Dabu, who serves up all sorts of wild ingredients to his customers. Hey, Ollie. Hey, Kate, how are you doing? Yeah, it's good. me. You right? Ah, Dabu. Here we are. Him. Yeah, this is what you're after. It's so a good stuff. What do you do with these? Um, anything you want, really. You can use the entire plant, so from the uh, from the leaf down to the root. This one's the French, and the green stuff here. This is the English. The English stuff is wild, so it grows outside. The vivid green comes from the chlorophyll, from taking the energy from the sun, but that makes it more bitter. The French is actually grown, it's forced, so like rhubarb is in this country, and it's a lot more mild uh, as a result. Dandelions can be cooked, but today Ollie is using them to make a salad, along with some toasted buckwheat and mushrooms. And are these leaves, are they good for you? They are, they are. I think in general, all... Uh, all saddle leaves are healthy, but particularly vitamin A, vitamin C, and vitamin K. So they're packed full of vitamins, but do they taste any good? Ollie, your dandelions are banging, aren't they? I'll say that. They're delicious! Cheers. Who knew that you could do this with dandelions? Here in Connecticut, in Northeast America, there's a long history of using dandelions in traditional medicine. I'm here to meet a woman who has a multitude of uses for dandelions beyond pepping up a salad. Melissa and her ancestors have used dandelions for cooking and healing for centuries. OK, so you just eat the leaves? Sure. That's a good green, that. Kind of spinachy. Yeah. Traditionally, the first of the year, you would serve them just plain to clean out your system. But if you were ill, you might take the root, the leaf and the flower boil it up for a tonic, and all of it together gives you that little extra something that you might need to purify your blood and your system. It is a diuretic and a laxative to some extent. That doesn't surprise me. <laughs> I only say that. Because, right, when I was little, my mum would tell me religiously, do not pick the dandelions because you will wet the bed. <laughs> Yes. To the point that I was fearful of dandelions. Yes, exactly, exactly. Anything that cleanses has that habit. So while I'm not an herbalist and I'm not a botanist and I don't know what the chemicals are that are in it, I do know that I feel better if I eat dandelions. It's worked for generations. We've had a lot of people who've lived a long time and, you know, if it's not broke. <laughs> As vitamin-packed as dandelions are, if you are taking medication, pregnant or breastfeeding, it's best to seek medical advice before eating them.